Hello, this is Shade Ketchum, and welcome to my Let's Play of The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. An April Fool's joke type of game that I don't think anyone really expected them to ever do. I'm kind of wondering if... God, that volume is loud. Can I turn you down? Thank you. I don't think anyone ever expected them to make this kind of game, and I'm wondering if it's mainly just another type of fourth wall-breaking game, like Big's Big Fishing Adventure 3, or if it's meant to be maybe set in an alternate universe. I mean, Tales 2 just brought up the concept of the multiverse, so it'd be very, just kind of a nice coincidence. Assist mode. We designed the difficulty of the Think levels for experienced Sonic fans, but we understand every player has different skill levels and needs. If these levels are inhibiting your enjoyment of the game, we hope the assist mode settings will help you tune to your ideal experience. Uh... God. I'm kind of wondering what it means, like, rings to winning gameplay. Well, gameplay speed is obvious, but... I'm wondering what... Do, does that mean I have to collect all the rings? Hmm. And I don't think I need to remove pitfalls or need invincibility. Also, based on the fact that there's no voice volume, I'm guessing this is not voice active. Which is fair. It was probably something that was made very quickly. Well, not quickly, but still. Anyway, I've rambled. Let's go on. Phew, made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. Yep, no voice acting. Can I use my controller? No, it is strictly keyboard and mouse. Okay, so that's just, uh, for... Got it. So far, so good for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Okay, so custom name. Uh, sure, let's just go with the first part of my username. Even though that's taken, even though this name is taken by another Sonic character, but whatever. Shade, did I spell that right? Yep. Hope passengers can read my scribble. Yeah, I've seen people with worse handwriting. I'm wondering how long this is. Dining car. I kind of hope I can finish it in a single video. Uh-oh. Am I nervous? Is this first day on the job jitters? Working the train car's dining car can't be... I'm sorry. Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Shade. Shake it off. Ow! Shade, did I, uh, just see you hitting yourself? Oh, that was me hitting him? Me hitting me? Huh. Uh, Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Oh, oh, oh. quite all right myself. Though feeling a little bit under, a uh, bit of sweet. Okay. Maybe it's just me, but the outfit, the big gloves, which I mean every Sonic character wears them, but whatever. The mustache. And now, the laugh. Ho ho ho! Are you- Are you Eggman? Ah! <laughs> uh, you know what? I have to do it. Is that because you're a sweetie? Trying to butter me up the first day, are we? Alas, today is my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got uh, our plane tickets to Spagonia locked. Oh, Unleashed Records. Nice. Our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. <laughs> I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. 
Menu added to inventory. Rise Express dining menu features chili dog, instant ramen, and chicken cordon bleu. Huh. I don't think... I've heard of chicken cordon bleu. I don't think I actually know what it is. I can open the inventory anytime to view items I've received. I should look over the menu carefully. Wait a minute. Okay, so I should be able to get at least, like, eight items throughout the um, game. Why do you look so nervous? All we have to do on, on the train is a microwave. Did I skip the line of text? Ha 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 ha. Though I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Uh, this one. I I'm sorry. Spicy Grilled Picky. Is it... Isn't a picky one of the little animal creatures? That's horrifying. Ding, ding, ding. Glad you can read the menu, okay? <laughs> a little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art, high-speed, smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame her for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. Okay. I remember that uh, from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Wait. If it's a murder mystery party, does that mean Sonic's not actually getting murdered and we're just figuring out kind of a play case? Guests will be funneled here to the dining car, the home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? I can't afford to lose this job! You sure can't! The severance pay is lousy! Ha ha ha! Ah, God, tell me about it. That yeah, sounds like my current job. Anyway. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening! All aboard! That is a cool looking train, honestly. Where are we? Up, oh, I see Amy, I see Knuckles. I think that's Sonic. Amy, looking fancy! With the boa and everything. Wow, this train is incredible! What fascinating tech! Tails, you look adorable. You're right, Tails. I could get used to staying on a train like this. What did you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. Uh, this is your birthday? Amy, when did you have? When did you ever have money? Oh my God, Rouge! I love that outfit. Honestly, that just looks kind of cool. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? Knuckles, are you wearing the OVA hat? Well, of course you are. It was a pen, Knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? Well, I imagine some... Um, someone who needs to write something in a hurry. What cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, Shane. You're sweating through your uniform. Hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? Hey, Sonic. Radio, friend! Oh, aren't you friendly? Why can't I be normal for one second? Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. <laughs> Sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Shade, won't you? Just click on uh, whoever you'd like to talk with and we'll collect the ticket. Okay, got it. Okay. So, who do we... Sonic, I like the captain uniform. Espio, what are you wearing? I, I don't know... I kind of figured you'd be in something else. Shadow, why are you... I I'm constantly learning new things about you. You're wearing an apron and this little hat. You're... 
Uh, you're a Taylor Swift fan, and you eat coffee beans raw. Just... I, I like that we're making you have a bit of a goofier side uh, at times, instead of just super seriousness. Also, Blaze, you look fabulous. Uh, okay. Huh. What's sticking out of the napkin holder? I hate the idea of a ticket lost and alone uh, like this. Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. And let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. So sad to see a ticket alone and confused like this. We'll return it. I have faith. Huh. Uh. Anything else I can click on besides that and this? Can I just... Nope, I can't use the... Welcome aboard the Mirage Express. I didn't expect that to be... Happy birthday, Amy! Here's the weather. That's a bit of an odd addition. Uh, Blaze, let's talk to you first. May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. Blaze is always on top of it. Also, I love that little fan that looks like it has flames on it. A princess such as, my, uh, such as myself must always be punctual. Princess? Did she just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? All right, again, are you mainline Blaze, or is this an alternate universe? A separate dimension, actually. Okay, we're still going with that. A separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. <laughs> oh, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Sh should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win with this group? What happens if I talk to you again? You do not need to bow every time you see me. Oh, sorry. Can I take your order? I'm saving myself for cake, thank you, though. Are you sure? Our instant ramen doesn't disappoint. I'm quite sure. Okay. Okay, I can just, you know. No more bowing, got it. Wonderful. Oh, this is wonderful. Hey, birthday girl. Can I please get the birthday girl's ticket? <laughs> Why, certainly. Thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? Right. And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along, for you, miss. Oh, how fun! Thank you! Where do I use this? Is that a key? This unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday! The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. We use this wisely. Thank you. I wonder what cake topper Sonic picked out for me. I bet it's a good one. I bet you're right. Can I take your order? No thanks. I'm saving room for my birthday cake. Oh, did someone bring a cake for you? Yes, that was Sonic's job. Oh no. Wait a minute. Huh. Funny. Sonic looks awfully nervous all of a sudden. I have... Um... <laughs> Sonic, why did you turn to look at the wall? Sonic? I have a bit of a suspicion suddenly. Okay, now I'm wondering whose ticket I have in my hands. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say it's either Shadows or Knuckles. Why hello, why hello you two, what can I do for you? Good morning ma'am, can we get your ticket? My my, how forward, let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite, very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. I'm gonna have to ask I have to kindly ask for that back. 
Yup. Oh, this was yours? You must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. Really, you don't say. Please excuse me, darling. Just need to freshen up before the party begins. But you already look great. Don't I know it. Good order, ma'am. Oh, this all looks delectable, but sadly, we'll have to pass. If you get hungry later, we'll have the microwave warmed up for you. <laughs> that was a terrible laugh. Maybe we shouldn't tell the customers that. Mmm, yummy. Don't mind if I do. Shade, those are for our guests, you know. Train, be sure Shade only gets one of those if they ask. It's just called arm. Did the arm just kind of not? Actually, a train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. <laughs> Good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Threat! The snacks look really tasty, too. Okay. Okay, there's nothing different about this one. Give me a chance to check. Okay. Just checking. Can we please get your ticket? Of course. I like the rose, uh, SBO. It's a nice touch. Excellent. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. You consider me calming. <laughs> He's looking right at me. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow, ninjutsu? That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling on to walls? Cling on to walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. This train is exquisite. I'm enjoying my time already. Me too. Glad to hear it. Can I take your order? I would order one of each, but I'm here for the party. I'll eat whenever everyone else does. What excellent principles. Plus, I had a snack right before this. Oh. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. You seem to be avoiding eye contact. Okay, you're the one who lost your ticket. Something I missed, sir? I seem to have, um, misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. <laughs> oh, actually, we may be able to help you. Shade, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? What happens if I choose this? Oh, I'm starved. I'll take one of each. Oh, second like thought. Maybe I'll... Shade. I was referring to the other thing we picked up. R right, sorry. Okay, so they actually do have dialogue for wrong choices. Ah, there it is. That's my ticket. Thanks so much, Evil. I was really worried you'd kick me out and I missed the murder mystery. <laughs> oh, Shade here would have their hands full kicking you out. <laughs> You're right. I wouldn't leave without a fight. Ha ha ha. Wait. Who made me both microwave expert and security guard? Also, you would get your butt handed to you by Vector. Strong. You're both all right in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Reminding my ticket, you're a real lifesaver. Okay, no extra dialogue. Here. Thank you, everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything uh, we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. Stare. Ugh, so cold. Shade, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? <laughs> no, no, I'm good. What else do you need? Nothing, just saying hello. Maybe I should, uh, move on. Can I take your order? Only three items on the menu. Sorry, sir, is everything not to your liking? 
I was just expected a bit more from a train so state of the art. You don't even have drinks listed? He's not wrong, but I'm still offended somehow. We offer water, coffee, and chaos cola as well, sir. Oh, that's a nice little reference. At least chaos cola is sort of an actual thing now. I'll have to take you up on the coffee soon. Just the... Just the beans in a spoon. I can't get a read on this guy. They had to sneak that reference in. I should have expected that. Okay, let's go for Team Sonic now. Anything else to click over here? No. Howdy! Can I uh, please get your ticket? I think that's a ticket. But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good. Thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Hmm. Maybe we should leave this dude alone. Can I take your order? Not interested. Either he's really not interested or he doesn't know how to read. The chicken cordon blue does sound good though. Well, that answered that. Actually, never mind. Hmm. Okay, that was. Eh. Can I get your ticket, youngin? Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. How do you pack gelatin? Well, I guess in a container, but still. Where are you keeping it on you right now? No way! I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me, too. It's my first day and I was a little nervous. Don't be so nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. <laughs> Absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. I wouldn't call Tails normal. He's polite. That's the best uh, way to put it. He's, he's incredibly smart and polite. What a beautiful train. I feel completely at ease. Agreed. Great. The menu, sir? I don't like reading things from strangers. Fair enough. Ticket, please. Thank you kindly. Uh, oh, I read the wrong person. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Hmm? Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kid swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did. You know, after like six months. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Yes, have fun now. Well, too. Thanks. Dude, how did you not recognize him as Sonic? I mean, people have mistaken other hedgehogs for Sonic, fair enough. But still, a big blue hedgehog. And I think they've even called him Sonic. How did you not know? Okay, everyone. Time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. Oh, God. I'm probably going to have to remember this. Also, it's been like a good 10, 20 minutes, and we're still in the intro of the game. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. <laughs> you remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely. You can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And train? Assist Shade if they need any help, won't you? <laughs> That's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor on this train. Excellent. I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. Don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state of the art and has systems for dealing with all of that. For everyone now, for everything else, please talk to Shade here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Well do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all uh, read your lore cards as well. Lore card? Lore cards? That must be the details of the motivations. Oh, okay. 
suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud, otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Now onto the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Everyone else has everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required for it is my birthday. Of course. Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Oh god, I'm really gonna have to remember all this, aren't I? Probably shouldn't have done this when I was tired. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. I'll find you in the saloon. The sheriff? Knuckles? Okay. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon. And Blaze, you're a titan of industry. Both in the casino. Well. Yeah, that kind of... I mean... Blaze is the ruler of a kingdom. So a titan of industry is kind of fitting. But Blaze... Or, I'm sorry, Rouge. She outright owns a nightclub. Assuming it hasn't been destroyed off screen. So, yeah, this fits her. What's the difference? There is none. Uh. <laughs> Sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher. And SPO the poet. All found in the library. Why is Vector a butcher? Hear that, SPO? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Out of curiosity, where's Charmy? Also, where's Cream? Wouldn't they be invited to the party? Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. I'm amazed Shadow agreed to this. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Oh boy. Uh, yeah. Ah, I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than alright. You can help ensure everyone's following the rules. Oh, that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. I'm just gonna... Take a quick picture of that. Everyone's station is marked on the map as well. How convenient. Uh... Ah, okay, it's just... Okay, I don't need the picture. I can just go to my inventory. Okay. The rules of the game are as follows. There is a murderer among you all. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. We must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Oh, okay. So you can't just, like... You can't set them up uh, for something to happen. You have to be there uh, in order to make it happen. Everyone else must collect evidence through, um, the, throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get uh, out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone to your stations! Ah, this is so exciting. A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. How thrilling. I have goosebumps. Same. Ah, isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. Really? Hang on. Oh, right, you're the journalist. I'm- I'm dumb. I'm very dumb. So, neither of you two. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. Okay, so at least that clears tails. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyway. What do you think everyone's doing? Probably expecting, inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. 
do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. My backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky uh, that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. That's interesting. Also, who wrote the lore cards then? If you if you're the birthday girl, Amy, but you don't know who wrote them. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, this sounds kinda fun. It does, honestly. I wouldn't mind getting in on this type of event. Wish I wasn't stuck at microwave duty. Well, this is happening now. The train's starting moving! It's so fast, grab onto something! <laughs> What's going on? Uh, I'm slipping! Hold on! I can't! Ah! No! Well, this is fantastic. You're both awake. Yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone alright? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. Seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Shade, could you get the door? Of course. Hmm, seems the door is blocked and I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen shuffle a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Uh, let's find another way out. I'll uh, start looking for clues. I'll search over here. I know, Amy. She's hiding something. Huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet, and then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Understood. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil on uh, like your ex flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Huh. Wow, there's not much I can click on. Something, something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? Very good question. Okay. Okay, so not a lot of things have, like, secondary dialogue. That's a shame, but whatever. Is that our hammer? That can't be. What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? When we get out of here, sure. Huh, I normally never make microwave meals, so I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. <laughs> I've only had microwave lunches this week. <laughs> Poor little protagonist. You don't have an official name, so... Yeah. The shelf blocking our exit. It's currently not budging. Hey Shade, look closely at this. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing a shelf could have fallen onto. I'm sure this uh, damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on the shelf is added to your inventory. Hmm. Ah, the wet floor sign, keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spilled juice at the grocery store, no wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. But he was going so fast he also slipped on the juice. He, we slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's the thought that counts, I suppose. What was Sonic doing at a grocery store? 
What's this, a rod? The tip is broken. It looks to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. I think we found enough clues. Some sort of stick on clue. Could also be a handle. Is her hammer broken? Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we can find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train? I'll keep looking. Okay, that's just the same thing. Oh, this is a nice little track. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't gonna be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm doing? I'm hiding. What is this jazzy little track? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? I doubt she murdered a suspect. I doubt it was microwaved a chili dog. Yeah. I don't think you were sitting idly when Shade and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Shade, let me step uh, you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that has been deduced, we must form our argument to fight back. Okay, so we're working with Ace Attorney logic. Alright, let's do it. What proves Amy attempted to uh, escape the dining car closet? This one. What, some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over! Damage makes sense! You have no argument here. You're, you have no argument here. You're grasping. Okay, Tails, what now? Well, now we follow this trail of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain myself? Well, uh, you see, I, uh, well... When I get stumped, I like to think. What would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running around, collecting rings, crushing badniks. He never loses. Like, like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Uh, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? Find your argument. Alright, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback. Like Sonic would do. Uh, what? Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, I have to use the arrow keys in the space bar? Huh. Okay. So, use these. Collect 20 rings. Also, Dream Gear. That's amazing. Oh god. Oh. Oh god. Well. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on a train this well kept that the damage uh, was here before you arrived? Uh, uh, well, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. Uh, what was the shelf hit with then? This is the only other thing. What is that, a stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? Oh, this is gonna be, like, very reoccurring, isn't it? Whoopsies! Okay, barely got that. The isometric view kind of makes it a bit difficult to judge uh, when to jump. Or rather, what direction, where I am. You're right, a stick can't do this kind of damage on the to the shelf on its own. But 
if it's attached to something, it could, let, let's say, a hammer. This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Uh, uh. It's as you both said. I tried to get us all out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack, and the handle ripped right off. How did it rip off? That thing has, like, attacked battleships. Well, in Sonic X, but still, it's attacked some pretty big things. How did a shelf break it? That must be the most sturdy shelf in the universe. That must be made of, what was it, Keaton? Or whatever it was from Dragon Ball, that block that was indestructible? I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. You have backups? You have more than one hammer? Where do you ha where do you get these from? Do you make them? I have many questions. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let uh, let me uh, uh, see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease there, and fixed. Tails, thank you. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stamp back. The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it. We're free. Great job, Amy. Let's get out of here. Wow. Okay. Wait, is that... It can't be! Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic! <laughs> I'm sorry. The kind of... <laughs> that face... That face uh -uh, while she says that line is just... This is an out of context shot. If you showed someone on this shot with them not knowing anything about this game, it would be... <laughs> They'd probably get at least a chuckle. Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait, I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me. What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Sonic? Eh. Body numb. Can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hands on his wrist without a sense of pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery or is this serious? Sonic? Sonic! Oh no. Oh no, I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Shade. What do I do? Yes, 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 uh-uh. Make sure they're uh, taken care of. It means they must be remarkably rich. My favorite employee. Surely they won't put me down on this last ride. <laughs> I need to catch up the Amy and Tails and get them to the bottom of this. Even if this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. God, we're finally at the title screen. Do I have free room capability? We're in the saloon car. Why is Omo Chow wanted? Well, I mean, it's Omo Chow. Oh, look at this place. I'm getting Mirage Saloon flashbacks. Mirage Express. Is that intentional? Anyway. Amy! Amy, are you here? I looked around. I don't see her. I think Amy's already gone ahead. It seems she's really excited. Did you need something for me? Um, yeah, just a question, really. How do I put this? 
What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> He's laughing? Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about. Promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. Really? Because he was doing the family guy pose when they get knocked out. Part of me imagines he's actually hurt. It's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game, or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Can I tag along with you? If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? Oh, of course, sure. Now if you ever need a sack, you got me. Uh, fair. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, uh, where's my lore card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. <laughs> this is true. Ye varmints. What are y'all doing in my saloon? Trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy moseyed through here and told me all about it. <coughs> oh, enough of that. I wonder how long you kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us uh, what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope, I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something. I take it out on us. I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Shape, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Right, let's do this. How much I got to explore here? Hmm. Howdy, partners! Spittoon free establishment. Yeah, the spittoons are gross. Visit Coliseum Highway Zone. Huh. Why does that sound familiar for some reason? I, I don't know why, I just feel like I've heard that. Alright. Okay, first off. Decent cash reward for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. Poor Amma Chow. Hate to see them like this. What do they do? Medical malpractice. I'm sorry? Interesting. I... C can we get some elaboration on that, please? I'm very concerned now. What the... Breathtaking views. This train passes by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to have travel to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters, though I find myself running on the tracks more than I do running riding in the carts. Uh, I'll never understand this friend group. Alright. Right, no. Okay. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, this one is empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hid in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails have faith. It's as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Ha <laughs> I think Tails is ignoring me. I mean, I believe that. There's gotta be something in there eventually. How much time is it? I think I'm approaching an hour mark. This game may actually take a lot longer than I thought. Which is surprising. It's like under a gigabyte to download. Shade, this is interesting. What is? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty. I mean, in that case, if he was that thirsty, why not just use the same cup? Unless it was like different drinks. Shade, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's true. The only one I can think of who's wearing lipstick is Rouge. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone else. Someone else must have been here. I'm sorry. Not his color? Do you think Knuckles wears lipstick? 
I kind of want to see fan art of this now. We should log this. One cup has lips in the rim. Okay. The robotic arms here are really helpful. Okay. What's the arm doing to my hair? He fixed it up a bit. It's incredible. What interesting tech. Uh oh. Should I fear for my job a little bit? I will connect microwave. Ah, the bowl of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Kinda bland. Huh, seems like someone licked all the salt of the- Ew! That's gross! Who would lick the salt off them and then put them back in the bowl? What? What? Ugh. Or maybe they're just unsalted. I hope it's the latter option, that's just disgusting! Okay. Huh? That's funny. The door is locked tight, you can't go any further. I wonder how Amy was able to leave then. Good point. When were these doors locked, and how long were they locked for? I'll we'll have to keep this in mind. Clearly, we won't be able to give this game super... Wow. Clearly, we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damages uh, look more to be caused from punches. Who could have done that? I, I don't know. Maybe it's the guy leaning up against it. I guess. I take it that you're not great at Super Monkey Ball. Are you, Knuckles? Also, I love the reference. What are you two looking at me for? <laughs> the smashed arcades in my inventory? Seems Super Monkey Ball in this state. I've actually never played Super Monkey Ball. Not a single game. I'm wondering if I should. It looks fun. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. Oh god, I better get ready because those think segments... I have a feeling they're gonna get real tricky as it goes on. I don't want to have to use assist mode, but... Hmm. I thought I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat. Oh. Knuckles, are you blushing? I said, leave me alone. It doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we can see it better? I said leave. Can I take your order? Not hungry. Well, if you ever are, you'll let me know, won't you? Sure, like a butler of sorts, right? Come on, Shane, you're not a butler. Tell him that. Uh, yeah, like a butler. Excellent. Thank you, butler. Dang it! I thought I told you to leave me alone. What now? Please don't beat me up. No promises. Knuckles... Would you ever fight me? No, you bruise too easily. Wouldn't be fun. I bruise easily too. Guess I wouldn't be fun to fight either. No, I'd fight you. Sorry, Shade, I wish you luck. He's not actually going to fight me, right? I wouldn't put it past him. Knuckles, Shade and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Huh? It is? We have evidence, too. We do? Shade, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? The arcade? The arcade machine? Ha! What makes you think I touched it? Really, Knuckles? Oh god, I didn't even look at the amount of rings I needed. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... 
No, it was not his hair. I mean, we don't have anything to, like... That's not exactly a contradiction. We don't know what his favorite game is. It could be Super Monkey Ball. It'd be funny if it was. But no, it's it's in punches. What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? Knuckles. Really? What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag. None were available to me. Were you just screwing up at the game and decided to destroy it? Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How are you? I'm on it. Shade, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on! What? Wait. 30 rings. Oh, no, no! Ha! Huh, now, Tails, get away from that arcade cap. Shake, try again. I have to get Super Monkey Ball fixed. Dang it! Dang it! <sighs> I really, really wish I could use the, like, not have taken as long as it uh, did. I feel disappointed. I I'm disappointed in myself that that took as long as it did. Again, the isometric thing is really cool. It's just kind of... I don't know. It kind of throws off my reaction time. And I really wish I could use, like, like a game controller for this. Instead of just the arrow keys. I I've always been terrible with keyboard controls. The arcade machine is fixed. No! Don't look at the scores! Quick, look at the scores! I'm pulling it up now. Okay, what does this tell us? What is this? Candy, bagel, ultimate, bread, apple, toast, knuckles, ve Vector did better than you? By one point? Also, what's with all the others? I almost feel like there's a reference being made that I'm not aware of. Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name at the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. Ugh. The picture is the beginning to be... Blah, 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 blah. The picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. Ugh. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Uh, he's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here. Now! How is he a common name? No! Not more! Hi. Alright. Barely did it. I might n actually need to set a assist mode so that I don't have to get the exact amount of rings. Because the more. Depending on how difficult that gets, that might actually get a little irritating. Now, Shade, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? Especially depending on how many times I have to do it. 
what proves he was here with Knuckles? My first instinct would be the arcade cabinet, but... No! I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. Yeah. My first thought was the arcade cabinet, but... I mean, we just used it, so I have to assume the cups. And the fact that there was... I know that one of the cups was probably rouge, uh, if it was lipstick markings. But there was three of them, so there had to have been someone else. While you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday, you and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's... I... It's not like... It's not... I wasn't... Uh, don't... Don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the higher score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest. I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story and alibi. I've already told you an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Yep. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But what are the cup with the lipstick mark? Is there another stink segment coming up? Rouge was in here too. Okay, never mind. It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something, but failed. Made fun of our game, and left. Obnoxious, that one. Knuckles, you think... Knuckles, you like her, just admit it. But you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I told him everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm, I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games, Rouge couldn't find something and left, then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our qu- Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? Hmm? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense. Shay, can you take a look one more time? Not a name on the high score list? What's Tails talking about? Oh, wait a minute. Toast, apple, bread, bagel, candy, those are all, like, possibly some other reference or something. Oh, whatever. But this one, ultimate. That's gotta be Shadow, isn't it? All the other names have a food theme, but then this one. Who here goes by ultimate? You may not know Shade, but there is someone here who goes by um, the title. The ultimate life form. There's really someone here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too? He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Shadow told me to lock the door and to not open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No. I think she has some sort of key, too. Right, she basically has the equivalent of a master key. That's right. The conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? What was Rouge searching for? I don't know. They didn't tell me. Even though I asked them uh, with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. More information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library's in the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic Interval for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Shade, let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. Shade! Coming! Anything else to say? Ye varmints better pull up chalks, I say. Understood, Sheriff. Yeehaw. Someone please, like... 
Hang on. Someone please have like an out of context shot of this too. <laughs> Something about that is just funny. Ready to mosey down to the next car? You got it, partner. Onwards! I was kind of hoping I would get free reign of the car. What? That poor Chow! I guess... I guess since regular cats don't exist in the Sonic universe, you have to have something to make that poster. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, so I get rid of evidence that's not relevant anymore. Huh. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. Uh, you've been fabulously helpful. Alrighty, before you go, Espio and I wanted to give you our presents. Huh. My presents? <laughs> You're both too sweet, thank you. Huh. Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Have you found any leads yet? Oh, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl? Nah, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic, I'll be the one to avenge you. And quick! But how are you gonna leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl. The birthday girl has a master key. Right, right, the birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm... Uh... Here to ask if anyone's hungry. Starved! I'd kill for a chicken parmesan right about now. Maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now. I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. Moving on. And I'm Espio, the poet. Hmm. Ah, poetry. A resonant uh, message from poet uh, to reader meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most, ry uh, ry about the most rhythmic uh, of pros. Can I hear some? Sure. Uh. <laughs> what, what is this? Oh god, it's the chow. It's got the little eggshell on its head. I'm like in the chow garden. God, all these designs look cool. Teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La 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 la. Dee 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 dee. Uh, SBO. Yeah. Or is that it? I have more if you like. I can't even... I kind of need to look that over again. I think you tried to make a haiku, but... I don't know if it worked. Cherry Blossom. That's the same thing! <laughs> I'm uh, satisfied for now, thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Shade and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. When we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car. Okay. Where Amy told me and Espio to stay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yup. Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went on uh, to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, no way at the brochure stand over there. But she left back to the casino bar before Shadow uh, came through and locked the door. I wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car. Then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. 
I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car, again locking the door behind him, and returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's where the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it airtight. All right. We sat trapped in here uh, until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And, yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm, with all these locked doors, it seems Vector or Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just gonna peek around and we'll return without any, we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. And if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I got you covered too. Thanks, guys! Your alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reasoning for leaving his post and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. Tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Alright. Uh. Oh god, Chaos Cola! Check out our book club. Book of the Month, Gone Gal. Uh, is that Professor Pickle? Okay, you know what? Um, this has actually gone on a bit longer than I thought it was going to. So, I'm going to save. Wow, that kind of dates it right there. So, I, this is actually going to be a multi-part Let's Play. I'm surprised. I probably could have streamed it, but my voice is getting kind of rough uh, from talking so much. And also, I had other things to do uh, today. I didn't expect this to take this long. But thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next part. Maybe it'll be the final part. Maybe this will be a three-parter or longer. Who knows? Anyway, thank you all for watching. And I will see you again next time. Also, I will be continuing Sonic Frontiers in case anyone asks. That project is not abandoned, and I've managed to remain pretty much almost entirely blind. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Have a good day.